Hello there, this is the Bible of soccer, not soccer. And in this video, we're gonna talk about England when the song goes clown. And how beautiful this world looks like. I remind you that uh, English is not my first language. English is not my second language. That I'm here recording everything from my cell phone with no guidelines no teleprompter and no master edition and I speak a little bit slow so I cannot lose my train of thought. Okay, so remember that this is mainly a Spanish speaking channel but you can look for the ENG English playlist where we have or we are going to have all of the teams that are going to the Russia 2018 World Cup. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about England, his coach. Okay, usually in most of my videos, I try to start for the best of what the team has. Okay, this team, the best of this team is their coach, Gareth Southgate. Okay, he is able to manage different formations and with good results. Okay, also he's trying to uh, come with younger players to the national team. So let's see how many of them are gonna make it to the World Cup or if he's gonna be uh, trying with the same players uh, that he used for the last matches for the qualification. Okay, so basically he, as I mentioned, managed different formations, 4-3-3, Okay, 4-3-3, he also managed, he does this, this one, okay, this one is a little bit like what Brazil does and what Germany is doing, okay, but with this formation, I don't think he can be uh, winning the World Cup, okay? It's the same thing as Germany with Joaquin Law. I don't think Germany is gonna be champions in Russia if Joaquin Law used the formation with three in the back, okay, six in the middle and one here, because basically what he's doing is making a copy of Tite Brazil coach. Okay, he does this sometimes, uh, Gareth Southgate also. Okay, these two players very close to each other to try to be a little bit like uh, Brazil tactics. Okay, but when usually when one coach is copying another one, he doesn't know exactly the reason and it's very difficult, uh, I think, to be champions if you don't have your own style. So, and he also plays with this formation, which has been the best for them or for him, I think. Okay, this is also another one that he's been using. So basically, that's uh, the best of what this team has. Then probably the best will be Kane. Okay, he is a central striker pretty much. Okay, he has a very good sense of location and reading of the game, reading of the game. He also can go back 
to defend him, to help in defending. He's very good at that. Also, some sacrifice. He can get away from defenders. He's uh, a little bit talented on that. And usually, uh, he's only uh, right-footed, but he can use both. Okay, but he plays like typically, like the players uh, would use both, both uh, feet. He has that uh, kind of technical walk-in. If you see how usually players will manage to kick the ball with both feet, they have a particular way of running, of walking and everything, and Kane has the same. Okay, the thing is, I won't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that Kane is a two fit kicking player because usually he can kick the ball and score with both feet close to the, close to the goal, but not from the outside. So I wouldn't say really that his proficiency is that he can do both ways okay but he's almost he's halfway and he's a very good player as i say and he's very good in small spaces okay he's very good at controlling the ball when he has a lot of people around him uh, especially uh, from the opposite team he managed to get away from situations like that. He's really good in very close spaces. Okay, then I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm going to do this analysis with the Sterling. Okay, but I will say Sterling and the wall and the goalkeeper are the worst of this team. Okay, but I'm gonna do it with the sterling, with the sterling, and then we're gonna talk about what other possibilities. Okay, but why I say I don't like sterling, and I'm using them, I'm not using him, because I don't know exactly is if body, if body can place here. In that case, he will have to go with two. Or simply with a double nine if we if he plays with Kane and Buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Sterling here. What is the problem with the Sterling? He fails too many goals, too many chances, always outside. Always outside. But because he's a good coach, he put him here. So he can usually Sterling do some of the good moves that sometimes he does and don't give him the chance to score, but to give the ball to somebody else who can be Kane or Vardy in a substitution. Okay? So Sterling usually have a very good sense of location. That's something good that he has. That's the reason why he failed. He fails so many chances. Because he has a very good sense of location. So he's always there to miss the opportunity. Okay? So when he used Sterling here, basically he's taking advantage of what Sterling has the best, which is good sense of location. And some dribbling to get a little bit away from the opponents, okay? But basically the instruction for him will be just pass the ball, don't try to score yourself. Okay, then we have uh, here Oxlade uh, Chamberlain. Oxlade Chamberlain, he always gonna be looking uh, the center of the middle of the field Okay, he, uh, 
he has a very good um, center pass. Okay. But he's not really the kind of player that goes all the way to the box and try to score or try to make some dangerous move inside the box or near the box. He's always in the middle or close to the box, but it's not the kind of player that is gonna come here and do something relevant. Okay, of course, he can do it. Okay, don't send me that one video where he does this, but I'm talking generally, it's not his style. Okay, then uh, we have here uh, Rashford. So Rashford is, his main position is a central striker, but they use them here because uh, he's very good and very fast to transport the ball very fast from one part of the field to another part of the field, okay? He has a very good control of the ball with a high, high speed, okay? The other thing is that he's very good at scoring because he's a central striker, uh, that's his main position. But it's a player that uh, he hasn't reached his peak yet. He's still in the process of getting better and better. Maybe for the World Cup, he will reach a little bit more maturity. But for now, we're waiting for that. But if he improves from here to the World Cup, maybe it's what uh, the England team will need to be a more dangerous team. Because right now, they I would say that they only have Kane and a good uh, coach. He can be a promise. And a rest of the team that is very good. But I will then call them superstars or with a good chance to win the World Cup. Then we have here uh, Dier. He's very good at defending, sweeping, tackling. Okay, he has very good long pass. Not very good. A little bit of good. <laughs> okay, not very good. He's just, he has a long pass, decent. And then we have uh, here uh, Henderson. Henderson is a very good organizer. Okay, distribution of the ball very well, managing managing the times. Okay, so I'm gonna put an asterisk, a star in this player because we're gonna need it later. And he's the kind of players I like because he's a two double box player. He goes, he comes back. Oh, I lost it. Okay, he comes back to this box to the fan for the fan then and he goes all the way forward to try to score okay so he's the kind of player i like i'm gonna put the star there so we are gonna need that later for another explanation he has a very good kicking from the outside he has a very good center pass and I will say that this is the other player that is good. So Kane, Rashford is a promise, and Henderson. He has a very particular way of playing or kicking the ball when he tried to score from outside the box. Okay, this player is very good at distribution, as I mentioned, and he's very, very good in long pass very very good in long pass so when he tries when he tries to score from long distance from outside the box he usually kick the ball like he's doing a pass okay so you don't gonna you don't gonna see the typical 
shoot from the outside or from very far, like a straight shoot from somewhere in the line score. He doesn't do that. Usually it's like a the ball the ball moves like he's if he's good if he's gonna do a pass. But basically what he does is he does a pass to inside the net. Okay? So he has a very particular way to try to score from the outside, which is good. Okay, all players who have a particular way to do something, they always good and it's always benefit from the team because uh, it's something different that your opposite team don't have in mind. And you may be in the opposite team and by and knowing this anyway, but the circumstances of the match, you can forget about it. And it can be a surprise. Okay, so he's also a very good player for this team. Then we have here Walker. Okay, most of these players in the first line of four, I think for sure they're gonna be the starter, the starters in the World Cup. Almost sure about it. So Walker, he's not good at the scoring. Sometimes when he appears in the box or here, he is really not very good at the scoring. He has no goal, but he's very good at running away from some opposite uh, team players. Okay, he has a very good dribbling sometimes, a small dribbling. Okay, getting away from players one way or another. He has a very good um, game with his feet. Okay, so that's why I put a star in Henderson. Because I'm putting a star in all defenders that has a good game with their feet. Okay, not all defenders because in reality are only the two of them and that's it. Okay, and the other thing is that he likes to go uh, with the ball. Okay, he likes to start organizing the attacking from the back by possessing the ball. Okay, especially because he's good with his feet as I mentioned. Then we have here a stun. A stun, what he has is just good aerial game especially in, defender, in defending and good sense of location. Then we have Cahill, which is the same, very good sense of location, a good aerial game, but the difference between Stones and Cahill is that Cahill, he has a very more sense of scoring than Stones, okay? Cahill can come and make uh, a goal maybe, but beside or despite that Stones is very good in aerial game, in defending, he doesn't have that precision to score goals by aerial games, uh, by aerial uh, opportunities, let's call it like that. And here we have Bertrand, which uh, is very good at center pass. Okay, so we have one player which is good at center pass, center pass, <clears throat> okay, we have two of them, and a little bit of center pass, and a little bit of center pass, but usually, as I mentioned, he's going to come here, or he's going to stay outside the box. Okay, that's another thing that I forgot and I need to highlight because we're gonna use that later for the final uh, tactics explanation. So he has a very good um, Bertrand center pass from here, okay? Cross pass, center pass. He has a very good projection, but without the ball. He has a very good projection Without the ball, good sense of location without the ball, when then 
after the ball cross the other half. He's very good cater located to maybe uh, be a support for another pass. Okay, or directly to try to score. Okay, to be an option, let's say like that. And then uh, we're gonna do here a little break. We are going to do here a little break and this is gonna be something that I wanted to say for a long time. Okay. This is gonna be called, this is gonna be called the sun break. This is like a parenthesis. After this, I'm gonna explain the tactics of Gareth Southgate. Okay, so this is the goalkeeper, Joy Hart. One of the three England clowns. Okay, three of them. Okay, the son you have in your own countries three real clowns. My clown, leave it to me. You stay quiet. Okay. This is another reason England, there is a problem in England. Because the, in England, nobody knows about uh, football. They have no clue about football. The only thing that England did was invented, inventing this beautiful game, nothing else. That's the only good thing they did. Okay, so you have three clowns in the history of your team, or at least in the recent history. I don't want to go and dig back away. Okay, but one of the main problems is the same problem that Mexico has, that I mentioned in one of my previous videos for the Confederation Cup. Um, in England, nobody, they have a very bad press. They don't know about football. Okay, so... Uh, the press is very damaging the team because they don't help. They are not a help. They, don't, they are not helping the team. Okay, for example, for all these years, this is going to be the first time in very long time that England may have a chance to win the World Cup again. Okay? because of his coach. Not because of his players, but because of his coach. I think they still need two or three more players to win the World Cup. But if he, that's why he's trying to dig in into the younger players before going to the World Cup, because he knows that. So maybe he find these players, maybe. But the press is not helping. The press has never helped England. It's, they just do damage. Not only to their players. That's why I'm making this little break. Okay. So Sterling. I would say he cannot be a starter. As simple as that. I would say that. Anyways, he's doing a good job. But using him here. But he also has used him here in the position that he normally plays. But he's not good here. Sterling cannot place here. He cannot place there. So if you keep using um, Sterling there, you're going nowhere. You're playing with 10 players. He's going to keep missing all the time. If you use him here, you are playing with 10 and a half players. Okay, because here... You can use some of his attributes, but you have some other players that you can use. You can try to figure it out how to use Vardy. Okay, Vardy is a central striker, the guy from Leicester City. Okay, 
it has a very he plays similar to Kane. Okay, similar to Kane, but he doesn't go back to defend then. And I don't know if he can play in this formation, but maybe he can do this. Or just straight forward and play with a double central striker. Double nine. That could be the call. He can place uh, the Leali in the middle of the field. I don't know. Maybe you can play with four of them with more people there. I don't know. Okay, but the Leali, he has a good short pass. Very, very good short pass. He kind of have a decent scoring. Okay, he's not going to fail like Sterling. And uh, one of the things that I like actually about this player is the way he celebrates when he scores. Okay, it's, he doesn't do any celebration at all, uh, usually. So I like that, very quiet player. Okay, and then we also have Lalana, which is also good in short pass. He plays similar to the Leali in some way. He doesn't, they, both of them, they don't have long passes. They cannot do a long pass, but they have very good or excellent short passes. What is the problem? I'm going to explain what is the problem when we analyze, when we talk about the tactic itself. Okay. Uh, he also goes back, uh, Lalana, he also helps in going back to defending. So I don't know if... Gareth Southgate, if he wants to play with more midfielders or not, that can be the problem uh, because he want he want to win. So maybe that's why he's still getting stuck with the Sterling. Okay, so but let's continue with the Sun. The Sun is probably the worst uh, influence influence to this team. Okay. Uh, but all the press are in England. What is the explanation for this? This is what I think. Uh, United States, they don't play soccer. Only the women team play soccer. Then you maybe have South Africa. Of course, you have the other British teams. But they don't have such a good as good players as England. So in English language, the best that you're gonna find about football is gonna be England. So they have no competition in their own language, except for my channel, okay? Every time I talk in English, I'm better than anybody in England, just like that just by opening my mouth and saying I am the Bible of soccer, not soccer, immediately. I'm the best English speaker person who knows about football. Okay, so in England they have no competition, so they talk too many things. Uh, but I'm gonna continue with the song. Uh, I have my own clown, okay? I'm the only one who can call him like this. But you have three. You have three clowns. You have David. I call him. Okay, I think his name is David Seaman. This is how I call him because he got finished in his face in 2002 and go home. You have one clown. Your second clown. Robert, this color. Robert Purple. Purple. Not green. Robert Purple made a mistake. I think it was in the 2010. World Cup in South Africa. 
against the United States. The sun, that's a real clown. Let me tell you. A player that can't play important matches, that's a real clown. You have two of them. Okay, leave my clowns alone. They're my business. And then we have the current goalkeeper. I call them Joy Hurt because he made a mistake in the 2016 Euro and then go home. He hurt, he hurt the team. Another clown. You have three clowns. Three of them. Okay, the sun. Okay. This is a sun. Okay, a sun, but it doesn't shine. You don't know anything. Please worry about your own team, about your own players, and then you come here, okay? When you get more, more understanding about football, you come here to Papa and maybe we can talk about real clowns. Okay, so what is the other chance? Gary Southgate. I don't understand why he keep using uh, Joy Hurt. Probably because the press. Probably. Okay, but the best thing that could happen to England is that if he doesn't have the guts to remove him from the team, maybe the best is that for some reason he doesn't play. Okay, but if you want to be, I know Manuel Pellegrini won the premiere by using Joy Hart. Okay, so maybe it's possible to win a championship with your heart, maybe. But this is a World Cup. I don't think so. Okay, then we're gonna talk a little bit about the tactics. So the, the sun break is over. We're gonna go back to business here. Okay. So I already say what is the best of this team is the coach. He managed different formations and how England plays beside the uh, different formations that he used. They have this is their this is what they do. So usually, what is the stereotype for England football? The stereotype is that they're gonna come here, they're gonna come here, and they're gonna do a center pass. Okay, everybody make fun of that, that they only do center pass, which is of, of course is not really true, but it's a stereotype. Okay, so basically what uh, Gareth Southgate is trying to do is that another thing that he's copying is how he comes out from the back, from defending, to start the organizing the attack. Okay, it's the same thing that uh, Joachim Lowe did in Germany, and that's why that's one of the reasons why Germany uh, won the World Cup in 2014 in Brazil, because every place, every country where Guardiola goes he influences the national team. So what happened in Germany? Germany usually, okay, their main attribute was that they were physically strong, okay, good presence, potential players with a lot of uh, power players, okay, but what happened to Germany? They never play beautiful, right? But after Guardiola got into Germany, they started to they started to pass the ball a lot. 
but one of the key, okay, Gareth Southgill, listen to this. One of the keys was actually both of them. The star goalkeeper, uh, Manuel Neuer, and the other one. Okay, so Ter Stegen. So they have two goalkeepers that can play with the foot, but Gerhard cannot do that. And only two of your defenders can do that. So basically, his uh, Germany. One of the reasons why they did so good and they were the champions, it was because they they got incorporated Guardiola's influencing the team, and they are starting to make more passes. Okay, and Gary Southgate is trying to do the same. He's trying to get out from the back with a lot of passes, but he only has two defenders. So one way to beat this team is by pressuring them, pressuring them from here. Okay, because most of the of their of their defenders, three, four. Most of their defenders are not good with their feet. Okay? So, and the ones that are good with the feet, they are too separate from each other. Okay? He can move here. They can switch sometimes. But that's not a smart thing to do because at some point they're going to get tired. Too much work for two people okay so one of the ways that you can beat uh, England is by making pressure on them from the beginning and also you know that Joy hurt he doesn't have good game with his feet okay so let's continue so they're trying to organize from here and then when we reach middle field, what they usually do, they try to go like an X. They try to follow an X trajectory. Okay, this is what England is doing. Okay, they try to follow like an X trajectory, for example. If the balls get here, what they usually gonna, they are going to do is that the ball is here, they're going to try to finalize the attacking in this side. Okay, and if the ball gets here, they're going to try to finalize the attack from this side. Sometimes they try to test it, so they come here, then they come back and they go all the way here. They are not going to do long passes to go to the other side because, as, as, as I mentioned, they don't have nobody to do long pass except for Dier, but he's two in the back, and Henderson, but he's more like distributing and he still has to come back for defending. Okay, and the rest, the guys in the bench and the guys here, they are good just in either short passes and maybe a cross pass here at the end, okay? So usually what they do is they're gonna come here and they're gonna try to build an organizing attack. They're gonna try to build an attack but following this trajectory, okay? And in the way, in the way, what they're gonna do, they're gonna try to put here as much players as they can. And then they can make a short pass and make a try. Make a short pass and make a try. Make a short pass and make a try. If they're not able to do that, they are still gonna go in this trajectory. They still gonna go, okay? But their, their intention in reality is to try to make the short pass and try. 
This is their, their primary intention. But if they fail, if the situation of the match don't allow them, what they're gonna do is to go into their stereotype, which is just come here and try to do a center pass. Okay, and then if it's, if they get reorganized, they, they're gonna try the same over and over. Okay, and it's the same if they get the ball here, they're gonna try to go to move in that trajectory and they're gonna try to do the same, short pass and try, short pass and try, short pass and try. If they cannot do that, they're gonna come all the way here and they're gonna follow in the category of their stereotype and they're gonna do a center pass, center pass and they're gonna try to score. Okay, so we're gonna see a lot that they come here, okay, if they cannot enter this way, they're gonna come here and they either gonna go do a center pass or they're gonna come back all the way and try again from here. If they cannot do it, they're gonna try to come here to do a center pass. If they cannot do the center pass, they're gonna come back here, come back all the way here and here. They're never gonna try or they mostly don't gonna try to make a long pass from one way to another because I already mentioned they don't have the players for that. Okay, and then uh, that's pretty much how they play. So one way of beating this team, I already mentioned pressure here because he's trying to uh, get some things from Guardiola since he's in the Premier League now to his team, but he doesn't have the player or he haven't found the players because maybe as I mentioned, he's trying to look in the younger divisions and he's trying to see what he can do. Okay, so he still has some time for that because he's the best of this team, is the coach. And then uh, the other way that you can beat this team is by a uh, free kick. Because Joe Hart, he has a very bad sense of uh, location when it comes to free kicks, okay? And the other thing is uh, here. What is the movement that they do? Usually, uh, when you have a double defensive defender, uh, midfielders in defense, Usually one of them goes to the middle or stuff like that. But in this case, uh, what's going to happen here is that the ones, these two are going to stay always in midfield. These two players usually stay in midfield. And these two are going to go back. Okay, if they are attacking, come from here. These two are going to try to close this player, one from the front and one from behind. This player never is gonna go here, okay, or here, when this opponent comes with the ball from this side, okay? Because why is their fear? Their own best attribute, okay? It's supposed, as I mentioned, it's a stereotype that they're very good at center pass, so they don't want anybody to try to score them with center passes. So they're very good at making this close, one from the front and one from behind, and keep pressuring whichever, whoever rival opponent play from the other teams come here, and it's the same here. Okay, but usually these players, they don't gonna go to the line of defending, either in the middle of the central backs or between the central back and one of the guys on the side. But what they do is usually after this player give the ball away, these two are gonna come here. These two guys are gonna come here 
okay? And the same tactic, it could happen with these two, okay? But usually they use these two players for that. But also they can come here and do the same. And it's gonna be the same tactic. After this guy gives the ball away, he's gonna go here between them and now they're gonna be six in the back. But what is the thing with that? The thing is what, as soon as this guy pass the ball, he's in disadvantage. So it's very difficult for him to come here and if the attacking from the opposite team continues here, he's not gonna have enough time to recover and go all the way there. Okay, so another way to beat this team is attacking them between these two players by coming here and make a fast pass and then move between these two. Okay, because this guy is gonna be waiting for this one to take the position. Okay, usually these two stay very away. Okay, and these ones are the ones we are gonna come here, we can be one of those two, or those two, but usually, usually are these ones that is, are gonna go there only to pressure. Okay, so that's uh, all for this video. Uh, if you like it, uh, you can give me a thumbs up, you can share it, you can subscribe, and also have a donation button in my uh, main welcome page in YouTube. Okay, so it says goodbye to you, the Bible of soccer, not soccer. Thank you very much.